So today I'm going to be doing my natural hair routine and my hair is naturally wavy. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this naturally wavy hair. And I'm going to do step by step on how I get out of the shower, what products I use such as my shampoo and conditioner. And for my products, I usually try to look for products that moisturize your hair and um, all that good stuff. So. I try to keep my hair as healthy as possible and I don't wash my hair every day. I probably wash my hair maybe two or three times a week. For my hair, I did bleach it because it is an ombre effect and bleaching your hair does damage your hair. So I love to um, look for products that actually fix that problem. I hardly use heat on my hair. I hardly curl my hair in. Um, straighten my hair. Before when I was in high school I used to do it all the time every day but I just felt like my hair needed a break after I dyed it ombre. So I decided to stray away from the heat tools and just go natural. So I have been trying to look for more ways to style my wavy hair and I finally found what's working for me. So I like to share with you guys because I know it's hard for girls to find inspiration. It's rare to find girls with wavy hair. So yeah, I decided to make this video. So I really hope you guys enjoy it and I hope it's helpful. And yeah, um, stay tuned if you guys want to learn. So for my shampoo, I'm using Tresemme's Luxurious Moisture for Drier Damaged Hair. And I'm using the same one for the conditioner. And I l I'm experimenting right now with shampoos and conditioners, just trying to find which one works best for me. And Tresemme has all kinds of different hair types. And for the mask, I use this two or three times a week. And this is the Mud Mask by Tresemme. And it smells really good and it leaves my hair soft. And I also like the Neutrogena one. So immediately after getting out of the shower, I just want to brush my hair. Because if you let your hair dry and then you brush it after, then it does leave it frizzy. And it's just not the look I'm going for. So I like starting from the ends and working my way up to the roots. And just taking parts of my hair just to make it easier. So after you're done getting all the tangles out your hair, you want to go in with your moisturizer. I'm using Neutrogena's Triple Moisture Silk Touch Leave-In Cream. And this is a really, really good product. I love it and it leaves my hair smelling so good. And you can find this at your local drugstore. And all I like to do is start from the middle and work my way down. I like to concentrate more on the ends. If you do put product on your roots, it does tend to get more oily. Okay, so after applying your Neutrogena Moisture, I go in with a serum. This is the Coconut Milk by Organics, and this is just an anti-breakage serum. And I just use three pumps and then rub it between my hands because it is really thick, and I want to distribute it throughout my hair. And I just start in the middle and work my way to the end, concentrating it more on the ends. And what I really like about this is even though it is thick, it really just absorbs and I really like it so if you guys are looking for a serum I would recommend this after applying your products I scrunch my hair and I'm just scrunching it everywhere making sure I get every single piece of it and this is just going to help define the waves and I really really love this method I've been doing it for a very long time and it actually works very well so just scrunching it And I believe that the scrunching method doesn't just work for wavy hair, it also works for curly hair. So if you guys do have curly hair, leave below if you guys tried it out and if it really works for you guys. Okay, so after scrunching up all of my hair, you'll get this look. And what I do is I basically just air dry it. And I'm going to show you how long it takes. It is 2.40 right now, so I will be coming back to show you guys what it really looks like after it's done drying. But yeah, and if you don't want to air dry, you can always use a blow dryer with a diffuser and it works just as well. While waiting for my hair to dry, I just do my makeup and get dressed and then I will show you guys the finished look. 
Hi guys. So it is 3.41 and my hair just finished drying. So it took a, maybe an hour or less for all my hair to dry. So this is how my naturally wavy hair looks after I wash my hair, as I brush it and put all the stuff in it and then wait until it dries. I normally let it air dry because I don't like using a hair a blow dryer to dry my hair just because I'm so lazy. But if you do um, want to use a hair dryer because your hair takes a really long time to dry, then you can use a diffuser and just put it on your hair blow dryer and then just um, blow dry your hair like that but I usually just air dry it because it's so much easier for me so yeah I will show you guys back if you guys wanted to see it So yeah, so that's how I normally do my hair after I get out the shower. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And also, I'm taking requests because I really need ideas on videos. So just leave them down below, and I'll be sure to make a video for them. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was helpful. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye guys. God, I better get this. Okay. Hi, guys.